Oh, didn't realise you were still here. Sorry to disappoint you. Wear a bell round my neck from now on, if you like, to give you fair warning. I just meant I thought you'd already be in work. Nope. Got a meeting with Paul and Billy later on, but aside from that, I'm a free man. I've just been telling your mum I'm going to treat her to a meal at the bistro. So what, you're going to leave Lurch... Uh, sorry, I mean Lee, in charge? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Your call. You sure he's up to it? It's the first break I've had in ages. I know it's not ideal, but I will be popping in throughout the day to check on him. I'm sure he's more than capable of taking care of things. So you're right, for your sake. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. Hiya, you OK? No, I was cleaning the earth and I've locked keys inside. Bummer, that's not good. In that case, I'm guessing you're going to have to break one of the windows. I can't. George will kill me. You might have a point. And he has got a pretty filthy temper on him. Has he? Oh, yeah, too right. I remember we had this client once. Started arguing with him about the quote that we'd given him for his dad's funeral. George grabbed him, shoved him against the wall. He said, do you want to join him? I don't believe this is happening. <sighs> Hang on, look, relax. The back. It's open. You can climb in through there. You're a lifesaver. Lee! What is going on? What are you doing here? I was uh, just passing by and he, he dropped the keys to the hearse. So I picked them up, tried to throw them to him, but then I chucked them a bit hard and they ended up inside there. All right. By accident, I'm guessing. Not. Look, why don't you do us both a favour? You go about your business and leave us to go about ours. OK? Fine. Whatever you say. There are, mate. I know it might seem a bit quirky or whatever, but Shelley was sort of like that. Trust me, I've had stranger requests. Same here. And if I never hear Robbie Williams singing Angels again, it'll be too soon. Hiya. What's all this? I was just uh, going through Shelley's funeral arrangements for tomorrow. Well, I know it's the competition and all that, but George will do you proud. Thanks for that. And. Rest assured, myself and Lee, my new assistant, we'll do everything in our power to give your friend the best send-off she deserves. Hope it goes really well for you. Thanks. So, is there anything else you want to discuss? Um, yeah, there is, as it happens. I've wrote a few words for Shelley to sort of say thanks for everything she did for us and what she meant to me and... I was wondering if you'd be able to leave it with her. I've got it here with me. Just, you know, if you want to read it, make sure it's okay. There's no need for that. Sure, it'll be just fine, son. Thanks, Alex. Is that more funeral admin? Yes, yeah, the guy from the choir. I had a few questions. Um, have you? I had a listen to that podcast with Kathy Burke. Is this your sort of way of asking me what I'd like for mine? No. No, of course not. I've always fancied a Mexican wrestler through the world. You what? Mexican wrestler, Rey Mysterio. He wears a lot of masks and suits. How awesome is that? Cool. It's good if you don't want people to see you crying as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that then. I'm gonna have one of them and all. A Mexican wrestler's funeral, side. Don't even really need to talk about it, you know? Right, tell them. Are you okay, though? I mean, you've, you've just seemed very thoughtful recently. Is that unusual for me? No, I, I just meant, you know, is there something else bothering you? It's just a funeral, yeah. It's weird. I'm so glad I met Shelley. I'm glad I'm able to help out. It's 
just a thing we know in people with M and D. So when someone dies, you generally know who's going to be next. Paul. Sorry. Hey, hey you got nothing to be sorry about. You do know that you can tell me anything. And what time do you call this? Where's your mum? She's upstairs in the bath. Right. And um, is she um, angry with you for standing her up and disappearing all afternoon? Have a guess. Oh, it was Lee. He needed a lot more support than I thought. It's Lurch scaring off the customers. You rang. Oh, stop calling him that. And I'll have you know it wasn't the customer. It was him. What did he do? None of your business. Literally. Fine, don't tell me. Obviously, I'll hear it through the wall later anyway when Mum is literally tearing a strip off you for standing her up. It was all my fault. I should never have left him alone. I mean, we didn't have any appointments, but... You had a walk-in. A lovely elderly lady called Marjorie... Br never mind what her name is. I'm not going to poach her. No, you're not, cos she's just signed with us. She said she appreciated Lee's sensitivity. What did you do? Well, she started to tell him about her wife and he burst into tears. And there were lots of tears. He couldn't stop. Poor Marjorie ended up consoling him. Brilliant. No, not brilliant. It was emotional. Apparently, she reminded him of his nan. So, sorry, let me get this straight. So, the new me not only looks like the Slender Man meme, Lurch is triggered by grief in an Undertaker's. Yes. Well, I'd still rather take the new you over the old you any day. At least Lurt. Lee doesn't stab me in the back. You were going to say Lurt? I was not. <laughs> I called him Lee. His name's Lee. <laughs> Lee! <laughs> right. Sister Act 1 or 2? Well, they're both stone-cold classics. It's hard to decide. Mm. We can just watch some telly. Yeah, look, you need to um, just relax about the funeral now. It's all sorted. Everybody knows what they're doing. And I promise I will not sing too loudly with the choir. I just want it to be... I don't know, worthy of her. It will be. Hey, and, and don't think you need to stick around for ages after the service, either. You know, you've, you've done your bit, so... when you're ready to go, just tell me and we're, we're out of there. You reckon? I just check out when I'm ready. Of course. Which is the one with Lauren L? Sister Act Two, back in the habit. Wow. That one then. Excellent choice. Right. I'll get the popcorn.